a sport like this that's so objective, it's nice to have some some randomness to it because it lends itself to the possibility of maybe being better than we thought we'd be. And so that's good for me to not have everything as predicted. And some, some kids, freshmen especially, came in and uh, both races were won by newcomers. So fantastic, they were adding that talent to the team. So good news that way. They had expectations, so they weren't coming in just like clueless as to what we were doing here. Uh, so it was really good for them, I think, to know, hey, we've done this before, we know the format, and I, I saw a lot more just comfortable, a, a degree of comfort that they've had that they didn't have last year. I don't think you can judge too much off of this workout just because it is like the very first one of the season. Last year it was kind of just scattered and it didn't like predict really what the team would be like. But it is like a good like endurance workout to kind of just like show your fitness at this moment. The guys are looking really tough. Uh, we're coming into this year already just based off this a lot fitter than last year, and uh, we got some really good new guys, which is really good to see. Um, we got we got Joe that was really impressive coming out of Utah. So uh, really really happy for him. He's going to be a, add a really good dynamic to the team this year. Um, but yeah, everyone looked really solid. I'm pretty excited. On the women, um, I think it'll be a little bit closer in terms of the spread, and you know that's to be determined. We have some freshmen, I think, that can make impacts. Obviously, like we saw today, uh, Jenica's new this year, and she ended up being our first girl out here today. So, some new blood injected into the team. Last year, everyone that we had in the top uh, spots were all returners, and so to have some new blood interjected in there, uh, can hopefully fill some of the gaps so that we're a little bit closer knit would be nice to see, and again, We'll see if that happens. Let's stay relaxed. 80, perfect. So we've got some good depth on the men's side where if we don't have our predicted five where they need to be, we, we're, we're collapsing. We're going to have a good seven, eight guys that can fill those last spots. And so I'm thinking maybe a little bit more of a predictability and a consistency thing on the men's side with let's just see how high the top guys can get and pull the rest along. So that could that could wield some good results if, if everybody moves up together. So I'm excited. The prospects are good.